Hey folks, see Rakshana Ranadi here and I welcome you all to <clears throat> the last stream, last live stream of 2023. My voice has gone a little bit sore. Uh, I've been traveling and so I think, I hope you're a part of our WhatsApp community as well, uh, wherein I keep on updating about my videos, about my live streams. Just in case if you are not a part of that WhatsApp community, wherein I keep on updating, uh, do do join that. Pooja, if you can just share the link of our WhatsApp community as well. Uh, that is where I had posted yesterday that I, I was traveling. I was traveling to Mumbai. And that was the reason why I was not able to do our regular Thursday live stream. But then I thought, uh, maybe today, which is 29th of December, was the last trading day of 2023. And uh, I think... After the last trading day of 2023, just summing up 2023, I thought can be a great idea. So that's what we are going to do. How much did uh, markets perform? Uh, how did large caps perform? How did mid caps perform? How did small caps perform? Uh, what all things were really important from 2023 perspective? What things can we look out for in 2024? So many points that we have to check out. As usual, we are also going to discuss about the nifty levels. So a lot of things planned for today as well. Uh, we have to wrap up today's session in half an hour because again I have to go somewhere at nine. So we'll get started without uh, without any further ado. Let's get started. I'm going to share my screen. Uh, that's where we are, and here is the Nifty level for you. Okay. So now, if you check, <clears throat> we have been doing this drill for a long time. From June 2022, this this is the chart. This is the range that we have been playing in continuous upward trend, but this is the range that we have been playing in. This got challenged, this got broken on 5th of December 2023. It was a breakout, it saw a retest, if you can see here, very clear. It was a breakout here, it got retested on 13th of December, and then we saw a bounce coming up, right? Today's session actually almost ended flat. After almost one, two, three, four, five, five trading sessions back to back in green today, we ended flat on a shant note, on a calm note. But uh, there are a lot of questions about what is there in store for January, what is there in store for February, uh, because next year is again full of events, a uh, lot of things to be checked out for. But let's first understand is the trend intact or not? Okay, first 200 demo to bhoti niche. 200 demo is around. 19,380, no need to even look at it. Even if I check the 50 demo line, that is at 20,500. Again, I don't think any need to look at it. Now, if I check the super trend, okay, that is where the bullish trend is, the, the lowest point of the bullish trend is at 21,159, okay. And our trend line, our resistance line, which got broken, got retested and got a bounce i'm just going to close this for a second this one is also at 20913 so i think 20913 on our trend line 21100 on super trend i can just say roughly 21000 seems to be a very good support as of now so is 200 demo intact yes is 50 demo intact yes is uh, overall super trend are we still in a bullish trend in the super trend yes nothing to worry absolutely nothing to worry but then <clears throat> i thought you know i'll just try and take up some interesting data point okay um i was just seeing what was the scenario in the early in the initial months of january and february for the last five years okay now why did i think about this because when i was doing a roundup today i remember that when we started 2023 we didn't start it on a very positive note. I'll, I'll just uh, stop uh, streaming for a second. I mean, stop sharing my screen for a second. So when we started 2023, I remember uh, we started on a little bit muted note. 20, Jan 23 was in red is what I remembered. Feb 23 was also in red. March was somewhere mixed bag. And then after that, after April, if I'm not mistaken, we started going up and up and up, right? So I thought, uh, so, okay, let me tell you, there's no logic behind this, but this is just a fun data to be shared, okay? I'm not scaring you, but this is a fun data point. Let us let me just present my screen. We'll cross-check some data points also if you want, but 
first and foremost have a look at this i was just showing uh, I, i was just checking out nifty returns from for last 6 years okay not 1 2 3 4 it's 6 years data in jan and feb only jan 18 it was positive 4.72% for the month of january jan opening to jan closing jan 18 positive 4.72 jan 19 minus 0.2% Jan 20 minus 1.7 percent. Jan 21 minus 2.48 percent. Jan 22 minus 0.08 percent. Jan 23 minus 2.45 percent. Out of last six years, last five years have been in negative for the month of January. Okay, last five years, right from Jan 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, all five have been in negative. If I check out February as well, <clears throat> check out February. February 18 minus 4.85 percent. Feb 19 minus 0.36 percent. Feb 20 minus 6.36 percent. Ah, Feb 21 plus 6.56 percent. Feb 22 minus 3.15 percent. Feb 23 minus 2.03 percent. So, I hope you have understood why I thought of sharing my screen. Ah, uh, today when I checked trading view, I just me and my team we just started jotting down the data. Even we were surprised. Ah, uh, that. you know why why could this be try to find out certain reasons for that as well to be honest no reasons and whenever we don't find any reason we say this is a market anomaly okay market anomaly is something which happens but for which we don't find any reason per se okay so uh, some this was some different some interesting data point uh, just wanted to let you know uh, <laughs> i can see some tears in some ankit sai Had anyone checked out this data? Uh, just wanted to know. Yes, no. If you can just quickly type out in the comment section. I know this is a weird one, but had you tried to analyze this? That what happens in the month of January? Uh, typically, what happens even I'm just when I was just trying to you know analyze. All the retail individual investors are like very very much you know positive. Ki arey now new year I'm going to start saving. I'm going to start investing, and that is how the new year starts. in minus and maybe be it jan be it feb maybe rii's are the ones who are interested to buy and maybe fii's do sell or what i mean it will be interesting to watch the fii dii rii data as well but as of now yes we we did see a connection so i'm not saying that uh, you know i'm not saying that 2024 is bad no i'm not saying that but i'm just saying that the level of optimism that we have right now everyone is crazy about the markets everyone feels that are market is just going to go up and up and up everyone has started talking about 24000 levels 25000 levels whatever but uh, you know i just thought that i should make you aware of this fact that yes this is something that you have to be a little bit cautious about kya baat hai punam has a point here punam says that i have analyzed the market maybe because of budget in february that that could be a possibility uh, that because of budget people may be like are kya hoga kya nahi hoga maybe the budget will be a populous budget or whether it will be good for the economy or not that could be one of the reasons but this time i hope you are aware about this there is a there is a rule which says that when you have the election year you are not allowed to have extraordinary budget as in basically you can't make any new announcements per se you uh, that will happen after the election is over one more one more session will happen after the election is over so this time it will be just like ordinary course of business kind of thing in this budget okay so could this be different maybe yes but then when we also checked the 19 data that was also uh, a budget year uh, that was also an election year sorry but even uh, in jan 19 and feb 19 the same logic applied uh we did have election in that year so no extravagant uh, announcements can be made at that time uh, so that that is what that is what we had seen in 2019 as well so let's see what happens this time so what uh, what we can do is just maybe keep a track during our thursday live streams also we'll keep on tracking uh, what happens with feb 24 and jan 24 but just thought of setting the tone right as for the last 6 years data jan feb both have not been that great so be a bit cautious don't keep very very high expectations is what i wanted to set for the next two months okay uh but nirmala sitaraman already set the expectations in market 
that don't expect much in this budget session of course they are not allowed to do it okay they are not because otherwise what will happen whoever is the ruling government they will do such kind of a budget amazing announcement so that the sentiment is very fresh sentiment is very positive and then people may vote for that party so that is the reason why maybe that could be one of the reasons why it's not allowed uh, so that is i mean that is the reason why this year we can't expect very extravagant extravagant things in the budget right so i hope you have understood the logic uh, what i was trying to tell you so jan and feb 2024 set your expectations right well talking about what what happened in 2023 just just to sum up because we have been doing thursday live streams without fail for a long time now but just to sum up right uh, what caught the attention of investors in 2023 i think first thing was about the declining inflation so if i were to just quickly sh share my screen with you as well have i already shared or not let me just check one minute um now if you see here one thing was about declining inflation now if you see here this is jan 2023 and from 6.4 percent us was able to bring down the inflation to 3.1 percent of course india's inflation also so if i just go back to trading economics and if i go to india and india da, 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 da. if i go to inflation rate and if i just go down here you can see we are also at 5.55 okay us was totally declining here we did see a spike again but we are still at 5.55 very much in line with our expectation right so first things first one thing that we really liked about in 2023 was that the overall inflation came down second was the overall performance of our economy in fact the fy24 projection uh, basically i hope everyone understands when i say fy24 it is 2324 that we are talking about okay so the year that will end in march 2024 abhi wala so uh, projections for fy24 which were originally at 6.5% for the gdp growth they have been revised at 7% indicating that the gdp might be better okay growth rate for gdp is what i'm talking about one more point that caught attention of the investors was about the overall broad performance if you if you also backtest data you will see that overall nifty achieved almost 20 percent return in this calendar year i'm talking about jan to feb uh, jan to december sorry uh the overall nifty return was uh, around 20 percent uh if i'm talking about mid caps and small caps it was almost 40 50 percent so this time around overall performance of mid caps and small caps was a little bit better as compared to large caps okay in fact i did hear some fund managers saying that uh, you know this is not my view i'm just telling you what videos or uh, blogs that i read of big fund managers they were like <coughs> those small caps which have done really well if you feel that you have gotten enough return be happy with that uh, and you know if you feel that you want to book profits in that uh, you can consider maybe you know at least uh, taking your capital uh, or whatever amount that you have invested so uh, it'll be important to even check what was your performance in small caps and mid caps but as i mentioned it's almost more than double as compared to the large caps as far as 2023 was concerned one more super point was about the sip inflow so that shows the confidence of retail individual investors and an average sip per month flowing into the market it's un it's an unbelievable number but that is around 15000 crore rupees i'll repeat the number this is like average sip number okay average sip which is flowing into the mutual fund market which ultimately gets invested into the stock market that amount is 15000 crore rupees that shows the power of retail individual investors that shows <coughs> how retail individual investors have now become more serious towards not only saving but also investing so you know typically if i'm talking about my parents okay at that time it was more about gold it was more about real estate but now with the mutual fund inflows that we are seeing right now i think that easily suggests that people are looking at capital markets in a more matured way now rather than uh, the game of just investing in gold or fd that game has now gone one level up to issuers and investors because there are a lot of issuers in the market we saw record ipos coming in the market 
even if the ipos were like pouring be it in the sme space be it on the main board space if it was an above average ipo it was getting madly oversubscribed okay so be it direct investing in the primary market or be it indirectly uh, via the sip route i think it was crazy i mean average sip amount of 15000 crore months is is indeed a very very amazing number plus i believe that overall you know even rbi did a, a fantastic job this time uh, keeping all the policy decisions in place keeping the growth rate and inflation because you know balancing inflation and growth rate is a key task the more the the more you focus on bringing down the inflation your your economy is also going to grow at a slower pace if you cut loose the inflation i mean if you let it loose if you let it grow that that may have a good impact okay so overall inflation and so did, did i did i say it in a in a wrong way let me let me just put it one more time so listen if the inflation were to if you want to curb the inflation okay one more time if you want to curb the inflation typically interest rates increase yes if interest rates increase then what happens the overall economic growth the gdp growth can slow down okay so bringing inflation under control is important but if we bring inflation under control by increasing the interest rates then gdp growth rate also comes down so balancing that balancing uh, the in inflation and balancing the overall gdp also is really really important and i think uh, rbi really did a fantastic job here uh, by trying to balance both so overall i can say 2023 was focused with uh bringing inflation under control keeping interest rates at at a good uh, you know at a good line to curb inflation we did see broader markets outperform we did see uh, the overall gdp growth coming at a good level we did see a uh, mid cap small caps performing really well indian economy surpassing the expectation in terms of uh, the gdp expectations we did see some amazing sip inflows so so many things that came up in 2023 really happy with the way 2023 actually uh, went by <clears throat> but now comes up 2024 question mark and i'm sure that everyone will agree with with me uh, acha let's let's see i would want to ask you before before i give my answer and i'm sure that those who have been following our thursday live stream they are already up to date with the current market scenario every thursday <coughs> we do discuss about what's happening in the market and ideally you should be able to answer this what are the key events that you should be looking out for in 2024 so if you can just quickly answer that can impact the market of course if you can just quickly type out the events that can impact the market in 2024 chalo chalo fast okay chirag says it could be fed interest rates because uh, even uh, a lot of people are talking about interest rates even bhavna has mentioned the same point about fed interest rates uh, we will talk about that uh, elections is one more point that many people are saying elections elections okay election election and interest rate cuts okay mm -hmm. pravin says pravin says war Ooh. okay so just to sum up till now uh, one interest rate cuts <coughs> for sure <coughs> fed has mentioned that they would reduce the interest rates three times by 25 basis points so that will act as a positive second thing is about election election not only in india election also in usa that is also going to be a big trigger and third thing Uh, someone mentioned of course we should also uh, check out for any updates in war scenario that that could also again be uh, i mean if if something goes wrong that could also impact the market rajesh has pointed out one more important point other than fed rate and elections and that is a point in january which is the q3 results i hope everyone knows that after the end of the quarter within 45 date uh, within 45 days you have to announce your quarterly results so quarterly results will start pouring in from the month of january first ones who typically declare 
their quarterly results are IT companies. Okay. And now if IT companies don't come up with good set of numbers, they could be the first ones to set the tone in a kind of negative way. The point that I was mentioning in Jan and Feb. So I think it's really important about how the big companies like TCS, like Infosys, how they come up with their quarterly set of numbers. They can first give the jerks to the market in 2024. So be very sure that you, know, you keep a track of the quarterly results as well. We will also uh, definitely, uh, whenever I feel that there is some result that needs to be discussed with you all, I will make it a point and discuss uh, any specific results that come our way, okay? So uh, that is about what what all events basically you have to check out in 2024. But uh, on the 5th of January, <clears throat> those who are pro-investor members and those who have enrolled for the pro-investor membership through our website, which is rachanaranade.com, I'm going to have a separate Zoom meeting wherein I'm going to discuss about few sectors which you can watch out for in 2024. Okay, I'm repeating. 5th January is the date of the Zoom meeting. This Zoom meeting is for pro-investors who have enrolled through our website, rashnaranade.com. And uh, that is, uh, I mean, uh, on 5th of January, we will be discussing about sectors that you can uh, focus on in uh, in the whole year, 2024. So if you are a pro-investor member, don't forget to tune into the Zoom meeting. Uh, you will get it in your library section also. Just in case if you're a pro-investor member on the YouTube channel, we will be uploading this session for you all as well. It will not be a live interaction though. Uh, you will get the pre-recorded session, right? One more quick announcement. A very, very important announcement is that we are going to have our first ever virtual meetup on 10th of January. But wait, what is this about? <clears throat> major announcement a very big announcement makes me feel really happy while i do this okay um you know uh, many people keep on asking me rachna what is your five years goal what is your five years dream and i had set two extremes for myself for the next five years one was extreme localization and one was extreme globalization for extreme localization i actually set up my marathi youtube channel i started that back in 2022 and uh, feels really happy, feels really good that uh, more than 8,30,000 subscribers already on the Marathi channel and that fulfills my dream towards localizing the content to the best possible extent. Uh, as a part of localizing the content other than in Marathi, I also came up with my courses in Tamil, Telugu and Kannada, typically the Mastering Money Management course. But the second, <laughs> Dip Pradeep Das is asking, Hindi makeup start karoge? one of the plans of 2024 okay but the whole point of the second extreme was extreme globalization where i intended two things one is about telling nris about the investment scenario in india about the investment landscape in india i'm sure there are a lot of nris who keep watching our channel and they are also interested to know about the updates in the economy. So I thought that, I mean, plus not only are they interested to know about the investment landscape in India, they also are interested to know about the tax and regulatory frameworks while they invest in India. It could be NRE, it could be NRO, few other points that they are, they are really interested in. So this, I thought that because people kept on asking me individually what can be done. So I thought, why not start a separate community <clears throat> and where? This will be a community wherein I can serve the global audiences. But ra oh, rather than a one-way communication, I just thought, why not set up a community where people can interact with each other? Till now, I've never done this. Uh, because even if it's YouTube Pro Investor Membership, we all are not a part of a WhatsApp group. Okay, So I'm starting with this Invest in India community where any person who enrolls for Invest in India will get an access to a weekly blog, will also get one video per month where I explain one key concept around investing. I will do either this video or I will interview a person, but not from India. I'll be interviewing people outside India 
and I would want to know about their economy. So this community is also for Indians who are interested to know, let's say, if you want to know about Japanese economy. So I would interview a person from Japan. If you are interested to know about the Dubai economy, I would, I would interview a person from Dubai. So till now, I'm very happy to tell you that this was a soft launch that we did. Uh, I have not even put this up on any of our social media platforms. This is the first time that I'm communicating about the Invest in India community on our YouTube live as well. But even if I just told it to few of uh, you know people, few of the people till now also, more than ten countries. I mean, I have members from more than ten countries across the globe. It's a small number as of now because, as I mentioned, I have not even told about this on any of my social media platforms. Feels really good. <clears throat> so, as I mentioned, twofold, twofold dreams I am fulfilling. It's about global learning. Exactly, Chirag, you actually put this up very nicely for indians also it is about understanding the global economy and i think i can see gaurav who says looking forward for interview i am in uk exactly so one more point is that i would be interviewing only and of course i'm going to give priority to those who are members okay so again this has not happened on our channel till date so for example you all are are uh, you all are a part of the channel you are either subscribers you are members but um, <clears throat> I don't have a specific, uh, you know, specific frame of work where I can interview you. But in this Invest in India, I would be interviewing our own uh, community members where they might be from UK, they might be from Australia, they might be from US. So this is, a, this is an opportunity to talk to people across the globe. So uh, I think this will be my true fulfillment of my dream of extreme globalization. If you loved this idea, isi baat par like ho jai. Kya baat hai? Prasanna has actually said it. Isi baat par like ho jai. And as a part of my New Year gift, uh, a small New Year gift, gift from my side, because I feel that anyone who who is there in our Thursday live stream is a regular viewer of our channel. As a as a small new year gift from my side i would want to give access to this invest in india community for free for one month so it will be a one month trial experience it if you feel that yes you are finding some value in it then maybe you can think about going in for the for the paid membership right for the paid community membership so this is just a small new year gift from my side it will be an opportunity for you all uh, to you know get to know people from across the globe and this first meeting where we all will be in a zoom call where you can imagine people are joining in from sri lanka from australia from new zealand from uk from america all people in one zoom meeting and it'll be interesting to interact with so many people this is going to be my first virtual meetup as well at a global level right so i'm i'm super excited about this so if you want to be a part of this community uh, Pooja, I've given a separate link uh, where they can enroll free of cost for the first month. nas.io slash invest in India is normal. Wala. I'll show I'll show the screen as well for just so that you can visualize how it will look like. Uh, Pooja, I've sent that to you on WhatsApp. Just click on see more and you should be able to see that. Uh, <clears throat> I'm sharing my screen on uh, immediately so that you can see here. And by the way, uh, I have launched this on Nusayar's platform, which is nas.io. This is the page which is called as Invest in India. Uh, I'm saying your knowledge companion in navigating India's investment landscape, right? Uh, so I hope you are going to be as excited as I am. As I mentioned, uh, you will you will get an amazing experience here. You'll be a part of a WhatsApp group. You'll get uh, blogs. The first virtual meetup, as I mentioned, that is going to happen in Jan 2024. So this is the page you will just have to click on join now. And uh, I'm just stopping sharing. Uh, just want to click. You have to click join now. And yes, that is that is the one that Pooja has given. Kalpak, it's not only for NRIs. See, as I mentioned, for NRIs, there's one more benefit. They are going to get to know about the taxation angle because, you know, NRE account and NRO account and whatnot. Uh, how will they be taxed for them it's one extra benefit about taxation and regulatory requirement fema ka regulatory requirement that is one more point 
but for indians who want to get into more details about our economy and also want to have an opportunity to interact with the global audiences this is where you can <clears throat> join it's it's a, it's a wonderful opportunity to you know build bridges across countries as well uh, you never know uh, what connection can take you where in your professional career as well so worth giving it a shot and as i mentioned as a new year gift from my side nasdaq.io/investinindia you can use the discount coupon code trial30 wherein i am offering a 30 days that's a one month free membership for invest in india community you can directly use this link as well uh, i'm just going to uh, pooja if you can just pin this uh, pin this so that will be helpful for everyone i'll put this same link in uh, the description box and in the pinned comment as well uh, plus if you have <coughs> any doubts about enrollment uh, pooja if you can just share the email id of sam uh, we have one more team member uh, who has <coughs> who has mentioned that he would love to solve any doubts if you have about the community uh, so uh, i'll just share the email id you can you can definitely email uh, sam if you have any doubts about the membership plus anyone who feels that yes i know that i'm going to join this i want to be a part of this one more one more thing is that you can join directly for a yearly membership and that to at a flat 50% discount okay this is again uh, a special thank you from my side by the way this is the email id if you want to get a little bit more clarification on this community uh, invest in india community you can drop an email uh, we would be uh, surely happy to help you me and my team would be happy to help you so sam at the rate nas.io that is the email id for you if you want any clarifications pooja if you can also share the discount code for the yearly membership so as i mentioned those who are very clear i want to be a part of this community uh, it's a flat 50% off as as a new year thing uh, so if you want to enroll for that as well most welcome uh, this is the code for you for you all it's c a r r nas 50 okay uh, the link is also here we'll also pin this same link in the description and in the pinned comment it's up to you if you feel that i if i want to just experience this for the first month and then take a call absolutely your choice but if you feel i have made up my mind i i want to go for a yearly membership this is the one for you and if you still feel no i want some more clarifications before i take my final decision this is the email id uh, where my team would be more than happy to help you with your doubts so i just thought uh, <clears throat> i am going to make this announcement by the way uh, as the new year uh welcomes every one of us uh, we would be posting a video on 1st or 2nd of january on the same thing on our youtube channel but then i thought being the last day of this year i should also talk about this on our community uh on on our youtube channel whereby i would just you know uh share my happiness with you all and really excited to see you all in to to be a part of that community it's it's it has been my dream of going not only staying local not only staying at the national level but going at a global level you have been with me for a long time and just just as a, a small you know a uh, fun fact i started my journey on youtube with the first video on basics of stock market in february 2019 so this february 2024 i'll complete 5 years on youtube i'll complete 5 years with you all and i think uh, we all have grown over the last 5 years uh, i can definitely tell about myself that rachna in 2019 versus rachna in feb 2019 precisely versus rachna in feb 2024 i can see a big difference in myself uh, a knowledge confidence reach uh, all thanks to you all you you motivate me to work hard you motivate me to create more and more content and uh, it's 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 a big 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 thank you to every one of you who is attending this stream and everyone who watches our content uh, so i'm sure in this journey of 5 years i was able to add some value to you as well uh, thank you pravin says following you since 4 years kya baat hai uh, ashish says you are doing great ma'am thanks thanks a lot uh, so all in all yes thanks a big 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 thank you to everyone for encouraging me to create more and more content loads and loads of surprises in 2024 coming your way kya baat hai jamil says watching from dubai thank you jamil and uh, so you can also check out the invest in india community as well uh, so gorav says more years to come absolutely absolutely will will definitely make it a point pushkar has been with us since the 6am club 
all also been following your videos since 2019 kya baat hai happy new year right time for profit booking and nft at an all time high i think it's it's a wait and watch is what actually what i'm going to do let's see uh, so yes santosh says from local to global and big pradeep says rachna in 2019 was a teacher and 2024 is a global guru kya baat hai thank you thank you so thank you for um, for this wonderful encouragement and yes uh, Naveen Kumar, you are absolutely right. You have an opportunity through this community uh, to explore other economies as well. Absolutely, why not, right? So, hope you loved this new announcement. As I mentioned, lots and lots of announcements lined up for 2024. So, keep on watching our channel. Keep on supporting like you have always. <laughs> But before we wrap up today's session, instead of vocal for local, Pushkar says vocal for global. Kya baat? Kya baat? I loved the tagline. So thanks, thanks a lot for this one. That's where we end our Thursday live streams for 2023. I'll see you on in 2024. A very, very, very happy New Year to each and every one who is watching this Thursday live stream, and uh, keep on supporting uh, like you have always. And would be happy to share my insights in 2024 as well. Parish also says, "Love this concept. Thank you, Parish. Uh, I'm sure everyone, uh, those who are excited." at least go for the one month free trial membership i'm sure you'll find a lot of value in the membership as well right i hope you enjoyed today's stream i'll see you in the next one in the new year till then take care shahin and bye bye